Hello dear students, so in this video of this uh, CSAT uh, PYQ series, today we have a topic which is profit and loss and profit and loss is actually a less important topic uh, with respect to CSAT because they have asked very less questions from this topic in these 11 years. I'll show you the number of questions and then we are going to discuss those questions, right? So let's start with the table. So guys here, this is the detail of, uh, I mean the number of questions asked year wise, fine. So from 2011 to 2015, they didn't ask even a single question from this topic, right? And from 2016 to 2020, they have asked only one question from this topic. And in 2021, we have no question from this topic, right? So total we have, I mean, around five questions from this topic only in these 11 years, right? So this will be a very short video actually only five questions will be there in this video right so let's discuss those questions the first question says which came in 2016 a person allows a 10 percent discount for cash payment from marked price marked price is mrp of a toy and is still he makes 10 percent gain what is the cost price of the toy which is marked for rupees 770? See everyone, on MRP 10% discount is given, right? So MRP is what? MRP is 770. So on 770, 10% discount is given, right? So 770 after 10% discount, I mean minus 10%, it becomes what? It becomes 770 minus 77. So this will be 693, right? So 693, see this is MRP, right? And 693 is what is the selling price, fine. So when the article is being sold for Rs. 693, there is a gain of 10%, fine. It means what? Gain of 10% means SP is actually 110% of CP. I repeat, gain of 10% means SP is 110% of CP, right? So 110% of CP is given as 693 right so 100% of CP 100% of CP will be what 693 divided by 110 into 100 right okay so this is what this is like 00, 0 cancelled and this is 63 63 into 10 is 630 so CP will be 630 rupees all right everyone option C is the correct choice, right? Simple question, okay? And a logical one. All right, now let's move to the next question. Next question says, Gopal bought a cell phone and sold it to Ram at 10% profit. Then Ram wanted to sell it back to Gopal at 10% loss. What will be Gopal's position if he agreed? See everyone, Gopal bought a cell phone and sold it to Ram. Let's say Gopal bought this phone for rupees 100, right? And sold it to Ram at 10% profit. So Gopal bought it for rupees 100 and sold it to Ram for rupees, I mean 10% gain. So it, mean, it means Ram bought this pen for rupees 100, uh, this uh, uh, cell phone for rupees 110, right? So here Gopal gains 10 rupees. After that, then Ram wanted to sell it back to Gopal at 10% loss. See, if Ram will be selling these, I mean this article again to Gopal at 10% loss, it means Ram will be selling this article to Gopal at 99 rupees. Why? Because 110 minus 11. 110 minus 10% of this will be 11, right? So Gopal will be selling that cell phone to Ram at 99 rupees. Fine everyone. So actually what what's Gopal positions if he agreed so Gopal's position will be what Gopal's position will be actually gain of 11 rupees right gain of 11 rupees right everyone why because because the thing is here in first condition Gopal gained rupees 10 right in second condition Gopal gained 1 rupees right so total he gained 11 rupees Right. Okay, because 100 rupees ka cheese agar usne 110 ka pehle to becha aur baad mein usi ko 99 ka khareed liya. Theek hai. 
तो अर्लियर ही गेंड टेन रुपीज एंड इन सेकेंड कंडीशन ही गेंड वन रुपी सो टोटल ही गेंड इलेवन रुपीज सो आइडियली द आंसर शुड बी गेन ऑफ इलेवन परसेंट आइडियली द आंसर शुड बी गेन ऑफ इलेवन परसेंट बट गेन ऑफ इलेवन परसेंट इज नॉट देर इन द ऑप्शन सो मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट चॉइस वी हैव टू चूज फाइन सो मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट ऑप्शन इज गेन ऑफ वन परसेंट राइट बट आइडियली द करेक्ट आंसर शुड बी गेन ऑफ इलेवन परसेंट राइट एवरी वन द करेक्ट आंसर हैज टू बी गेन ऑफ इलेवन परसेंट बट विच इज नॉट गिवन इन द ऑप्शन सो वी हैव टू चूज द मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट चॉइस एमंग द गिवन ऑप्शन सो मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट चॉइस एमंग द गिवन ऑप्शन इज गेन ऑफ वन परसेंट राइट विच इज सी ऑप्शन ओके नॉ लेट्स मूव टू दर क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सी इज अ शॉपकीपर सेल्स एन आर्टिकल फॉर रुपीज फोर्टी एंड गेट्स एक्स परसेंट प्रॉफिट ओके हाउ एवर वेन ही सेल्स इट एट रुपीज ट्वेंटी ही फेसेस सेम परसेंटेज ऑफ लॉस वॉट इज द ओरिजिनल कॉस्ट प्राइस ऑफ द आर्टिकल सी एवरी वन वेन अ शॉपकीपर इज सेलिंग एन आर्टिकल फॉर रुपीज फोर्टी ही इज गेनिंग समथिंग एंड वेन द शॉपकीपर इज सेलिंग द आर्टिकल फॉर रुपीज ट्वेंटी ही इज लूजिंग समथिंग राइट देर इज अ लॉस सो इट मीन्स द सी पी ऑफ द आर्टिकल विल बी समवेयर बिटवीन ट्वेंटी एंड फोर्टी राइट सो सी पी विल लाई समवेयर बिटवीन ट्वेंटी एंड फोर्टी वाई बिकॉज वेन ही इज सेलिंग फॉर रुपीज फोर्टी देर इज अगेन वेन ही इज सेलिंग फॉर रुपीज ट्वेंटी देर इज अ लॉस राइट इट मीन्स सी पी विल बी समवेयर बिटवीन ट्वेंटी एंड फोर्टी सो जस्ट गो टू द ऑप्शन टेन ट्वेंटी फोर्टी थर्टी सो थर्टी विल बी द करेक्ट चॉइस राइट सो सी पी ऑफ द आर्टिकल विल बी थर्टी रुपीज राइट सो एवरी वन हेयर हेयर देयर इज I mean, when the article is being for uh, being sold for rupees forty, there is a gain of rupees ten, right? Gain of rupees ten. And similarly, when the article is being sold for rupees twenty, this is the loss of rupees ten, right? So here, gain of rupees ten out of thirty, it means thirty-three point three three percent gain, right? And this is the loss of rupees ten with respect to thirty. So this is. Loss of thirty three point three three percent, right? Okay, so this is the loss of thirty three point three three percent. This is the loss of thirty. Uh, sorry, this is the gain of thirty three point three three percent. Correct. So here, like the options were very simple, so that's why we could solve this question very easily. Fine. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. Next question says Rakesh had money to buy eight mobile handsets of a specific company. but the retailer offered a very good discount on the particular handset rakesh could buy 10 mobile handsets with the amount he had what does the discount the retailer offered see everyone he had sufficient money to buy 8 mobiles fine but the retailer uh, offered a discount and that's why he could buy 10 mobile phones with the money he had fine so it means 8 and 10 just take the lcm of 8 and 10 which is 40 right so just assume that he had 40 rupees in his pocket and he was pl planning to buy eight mobile handset fine so obviously uh if he can buy eight mobile handsets for rupees 40 then obviously the cost of one is rupees 5 but after a discount he could buy 10 handsets for rupees 40 so obviously he could buy i mean uh, uh after the discount the cost price of one mobile handset was 4 rupees so ideally the the price was rupees 5 but he could buy it for 4 rupees so there is a discount of 1 rupee fine 1 rupee out of 5 rupees okay so this is 1 by 5 1 by 5 means 20% so the discount of 20% was offered all right everyone fine so the discount of 20% was offered to him correct okay now let's move to the next question after that the question says a person bought a car and sold it for rupees 3 lakhs if he incurred a loss of 20% then how much did he spend to buy the car all right 20% loss loss of 20% fine everyone so it means what loss of 20% loss of 20% means sp is 80% of cp right 
so 80 percent of cp is given as 3 lakhs right so 100 percent of cp is what 3 lakhs divided by 80 into 100 right okay so this 1010 cancelled and this is 4 and this is 5 so this is what this is uh, 75,000 into 5 so this is 3 lakh 75,000 right everyone so this is the answer so CP of the car was 3 lakh 75,000 D option is the correct choice right everyone fine all right so I hope the questions are over Guys, now it is the time to discuss about our offerings, what Unjust offers you guys. So we have some programs related to CSAT only, right? And let me discuss those programs in detail. So first program is CSAT Foundation program. This is actually CSAT Foundation program. This is a long term program for CSAT, right? So those who are targeting like after two years or after one year, so they can join this program, right? And then CSAT PYQ program. CSAT PYQ program is a very targeted program that we have designed here. We have collected all the questions that came in CSAT from 2011 to 2021. And we have segregated those questions topic wise and concept wise, right? So we are discussing all those questions. And obviously, we are discussing the concepts that are coming through those questions in the CSAT examination. Fine. So we have discussed all the concepts through questions. So actually, we are teaching in this program through PYQs only, right? So here you are getting like which type of questions are coming from the, from the certain topic. And moreover, here we have discussed some other dimensions of those questions also. I mean, which type of questions may further asked, I mean, may be asked further related to this topic or a, or a particular topic. Fine. So this is CSAT PYQ program and then CSAT crash course. Those two, I mean, those students who don't have much time or those who have less time, they can join this program. I mean, we have crash course for two months, for 50 days or for uh, uh, one month also, right? So you can join according to your availability and your convenience. Fine. And then CSAT weekend batch. This batch we have designed for uh, working professional candidates. Those who don't have time in weekdays, they may join this program, right? It is a very beneficial program for those candidates, those who are, I mean, those who don't have time in weekdays, basically. Fine. And then CSAT test series along with the discussion. See everyone, this is again a very good and targeted program that we have designed here. We have, I mean, we have designed the questions which are strictly based on the recent pattern of CSAT. Fine. Because here, obviously, if you compare the paper of last two years from other papers, then you will see the drastic change, right? So obviously, we have designed the questions based on that only. Okay. So this is a very good program and obviously the discussion is also very important. Fine. How to tackle the paper, how to eliminate the options. This is actually very important. How to read the question properly, right? So this discussion is also very important. And after that, we have a free program in our Telegram, five star question series in Telegram. See everyone, what is this five star Telegram? I mean, five star question series in Telegram. Here, we upload five questions every day in our Telegram channel, okay? And we discuss those questions sometimes in Telegram and sometimes in our website. Fine. Here, you may take those five questions every day to get the momentum. I mean, till the examination, you may just get connected uh, with the questions for CSAT. You just take five questions every day and uh, I mean, maintain your momentum till the examination. So this is a very, I mean, very beneficial program for the students. So guys, please get benefited out of it, right? Join this program. and. Let me introduce about our uh, contact details. So friends, we have a telegram channel. The link for the same is telegram slash unjust, right? So this is our telegram channel and our website is unjust.com, right? And if you guys want to talk to us, then we have a very simple number 9613192021, right? Again, 9613192021. It's a very simple and convenient number, right? Easy to learn in fact. And let me tell you something about our classes. So we have offline classes. Offline classes we have in ORN, Old Rajinder Nagar, New Delhi, right? 
So if you want to join our offline classes, you may contact us and you may come to offline classes which are in ORN, right? And we also have online classes. So online classes, I mean, uh, you just get the link and you may start your lectures, right? Uh, just by contacting us, fine. So friends, so uh, these are the details that I wanted to discuss with you guys, right? And please uh, stay tuned for very good content. We guys are working for you day in, day out, right? And please share these videos with your friends also so that they may also get benefited out of it, right? So thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you. Thank you so much.